Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your overall energies. We're going to check to see what is coming your way. Also, I want to intend this reading for sun, moon, or rising signs of Libra. If you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. If you would like a private reading from me, I'm going to leave a link up here and in the description box below. You can book your reading from there. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. Well, let's see what is coming your way. Okay, this kind of reminded me of like a mystical forest scene here. There is actually two massive fish. I want to show them to you like floating down. They were up here. They started moving down towards your heart. This is your heart's desire. This can be something that maybe you have created a blockage. Um, it can be like something that you wanted to manifest large chunks of money and opportunity i see a bird here maybe some big news from a person um someone that you wanted to connect with and um feels like here because they were actually floating outside of the cup means that you surrender this energy what happens with the surrender is when you surrender something to the higher power or the creator it actually comes back comes manifest faster okay surrender can look like different um for everyone can be uh, like when someone's surrendering is actually letting it go letting god to take care of it but sometimes it might look like giving up on that desire that you have okay this can be even like i see like a male figure here this can be about like maybe connecting with a uh, masculine energy masculine energy can be regarding love also can be about like an authoritative figure uh goal as a new career change maybe you want to change your career path and there is actually some aspect that you're admiring and uh probably you're going to uh actually like there is a person or maybe like a company that you really want to work on that can be also symbolized by this energy i see here there is someone who's wearing a cloak. Okay, and um, they have a cane in their hand and just climbing up a hill. Cloak can symbolize this person's status of um, maybe the wiseness, the level of wiseness, wisdom they have can be a hermit energy that kind of reminds me of a virgo um maybe even someone that you are actually getting advice from and this person is climbing up the hill like they have a progress and you're going to see their progress and i see you're smiling right here so their progress is probably going to be affecting your um progress in certain areas as well this can be maybe you're getting like financial advice from someone and uh you see them getting to this upgrade or maybe like gaining things in return and uh, this can actually give you like a, you know this joy because you're going to be means that you're going to be also gaining as well at the same time and also uh, i see here a chunk of money so you are maybe even climbing up with them to receive this chunk this uh, i usually when i see these lumps i interpret them as um a chunk of money but can also be an opportunity a gift that has been given to you or something that you are in expectation of will be also showing up in your energy okay still i see a person here there's a path opening i feel like this person is coming from this path traveling towards you and there are actually i can see a mind here a person their mind is open w is present w can be symbolizing maybe in their first name or the last name or can be symbolizing a win a victory that is coming forward when this person comes towards you another thing with their energy is this can be like someone that you're desiring to have or maybe someone you want an offer um come up to you with an offer so they can be also like cultivating that energy and maybe putting it together they're just fixing up the things that they need to as of right now so they can bring you 
that offer they have like a fish on a stick here so fish symbolizes abundance so there can be like a bringer of abundance into your life and um, i'm not gonna say that because uh, your fortune is attached to somebody else's actions this is your action your thinking your manifestation is being delivered to you by the universe and universe can sometimes use other people as their hand because universe doesn't have a hand a physical hand so it can actually cultivate another hand for you so you can receive whatever is meant for you okay whatever is that you're desiring i see here someone actually you know like when they just do like this go like that when they are, are like actually in curiosity i see someone here and there's another person on top of their head uh, so this can be maybe you are looking for your answers and different people um, rather than looking into you or maybe you already have access to the information that you're looking for but you are keep asking trying to get that information from others that they don't have that knowledge and this can be a sign for you maybe it's time to just start seeing whatever it is inside of you i see a letter m as in mary or matthew or amanda can mean the first name or the last name of a person this can be the person that you're searching the um the information from but they might not have it and they're going to make it obvious in order to like uh, pushing for going after your heart's desire is actually the, the the thing here but this person or this uh the thing that you think is working they have the information for you doesn't seem like have it okay but i see there's a path opening a very bright path and i see another person here and they are looking with curious eyes and there's a second double eyes here you can see so the information is somewhere else it's if you have the chance to change the course uh, it is good to go that path because that is going to be leading you towards what you're desiring i see here a male figure with um um a crown and i'm trying to see what he is holding in his hand kind of reminds me of the uh, the knight of um i'm sorry king of pentacles king of pentacles can be a taurus a virgo or a capricorn we already had the virgo energy before so this can be someone um like very good with financials also this can be your energy like uh, you are probably embodying this energy maybe trying to starting to manage your financials in a very good manner this path that is opening can be actually giving you an idea how to proceed with your upcoming plans and the financial plans. Um, initially, you might be stepping into an environment of like the clouds here, darkness, maybe not a clear, an unclarity. However, in your heart, I see you here sitting on your throne. You have your wand in your hand and there are two people clapping in front of you. It can be Taurus energy, again, the Hierophant that becoming the authority of you, that you're desiring to be when you step into that goal when you start taking action towards it initially you might not get clear answers right away however i see there's two horses galloping towards you here they kind of symbolize that the answers are going to be there you're going to reach to the answers but it's not going to be happening and like being receiving like a letter it's not going to be like the, um, getting a letter from uh, the santa basically getting a letter from the universe it's going to be happening in an intuitive way in a maybe even um you know a mysterious ways you're going to be receiving the information however it's going to be happening in um in a way that you cannot really fathom okay so that's why it's good to be open to the creative possibilities of the universe at this time Let's get into your saucer now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. Beautiful here. There is actually a beautiful halo surrounding you. This kind of looks like a beautiful rose blooming as well. I see roses bloom here. There's a person here kind of like holding up a pit bull. You can see a male figure. They're staring at the other side, but the pit bull is staring right towards us um this kind of reminds me pit bulls kind of like because they are deemed as like a dangerous animals however they are, have a very cool nature actually and also at the same time they have this um you know loyalty of the dog so this can be someone maybe um you think that somebody has control over the situation but it seems like whatever is meant for you is loyal to you will simply find you and your heart's desire 
is actually floating towards you at the same time. I see a letter H here. This can be in the first name or the last name of someone that is going to be coming forward. I see a face here. This person, you can see the flat mouth kind of symbolizes that. They are probably, I'm not going to say they're in the darkness, but they have, they don't have a clarity at this moment. However, they're trying to enter into your energy field here. You can see they are waiting right outside and they're going to have a communication with you. They're probably going to uh, maybe like even do business with you, come together, become friends, or maybe even try to create a relationship. Okay. Right. I see a letter V here as in victory. There are two people coming together. There's an elephant and a bird, like a stork, coming together here. Stork actually symbolizes fertility and growth. And there's a tears of joy here, as you can see, an unexpected good news coming your way. Stork indicates that. The elephant indicates long-term stability. And they're coming together. So um, you're probably going to be finding a way to cultivate your creative energy in order to create financial stability for the long term, which is a good sign. Okay. Let's see what your cards are telling us at this time. We have 10 of wands. 10 of wands symbolizing actually... Uh, working a little bit harder than usual however what happens in this energy is uh, at the end of the day you carry all these uh, produce that you have collected to your home to your castle so your hard work is actually going to be paying off better than ever we have three of wands here again fire energy so whatever that you put in the energy you're going to be getting back multiplied three of wands indicates there's going to be a new opportunity adventure and also even, um, you know, an upgrade happening in your life. You might be like going traveling or going to the places, being in the places that you want to be. What's the Empress energy here? Empress is your energy, Libra and Taurus. A feminine energy, like expanding yourself to open up yourself to receive more. Okay. Uh, your creativity again here uh, is also very important. We have this like i'm going to show you something that number three of wands empress the three three of pentacles three 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 actually symbolizes high energy intellect creativity communication artistic talent and also and this is probably there's a sign here that an angel number three 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 and we have 10 13 uh so like um this is a good symbol and three threes actually symbolize enlightenment understanding and completion so you're ending a cycle okay whatever that cycle that you have been going through that is coming to an end there's going to be definitely a new beginning full of adventure creative endeavors and even teamwork three of pentacles indicates teamwork we have fire energy here this is like aries leo sagittarius Libra and Taurus and we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy so you're creating something amazing here with like whatever that activity that you're doing and um, so you're creating cultivating that creative energy and with that creative energy you're creating this mass amazing teamwork okay which will be uh, probably the the goal okay team can be also if like you're going after romance if that's what you're wanting maybe aligning yourself with this person that you want to have in your life we have conflict showing up here another mountain another mountain we have here conflict can symbolize that uh, you want to receive good fortune you want to be creative However, there's a hard work waiting for you before these things actually come to life. This can be hard work, can be taken as maybe paperwork, the things that are just nitty gritty that you don't want to go through, you don't want to do. But eventually, when you go through it, when you get it done, you're going to actually get to uh, like create this beautiful team that can be very helpful for you. That can be uh, the source of like abundance for you. Maybe like this teamwork is going to create a dream work for you. But the conflict is that you are maybe in your mind not going after what you're wanting. We have the seven of wands here. Maybe you're going, um, you know, drawing a lot of boundaries around you. Maybe not um, complying. Even though you want to create something, you're not going after it. Okay. The moon card here symbolizes that um, 
there is going to be some intuitive guidance coming your way in order to get over this conflict you need to follow your intuition even if you're in the darkness like i said there's gonna there are some dark clouds uh you need to move forward and um maybe even in the face of conflict because seven of wands can also symbolize conflict here you're going to be guided to where you need to be okay we have the high priestess which is another intuition card another moon card here so the even in the darkness you're going to be guided okay and there you go ten of pentacles eventually you're going to get to your goal which is financial security for yourself and your family and long-term stability even love if that's what you're manifesting all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye